Hey guys, it's Dal Phoenix, and I decided, hey, let's try a mobile game. I'm using the Blue Stacks app player, which lets you play uh, Android games and whatnot on your computer, so you can see the mouse. Um, so yeah, this is a pretty awesome little game called Game Dev Story. I really get a kick out of this game, so I figured let's try uh, doing a Let's Play, kind of. Uh, see, you can tell it's Android. It pops up a little keyboard and everything. So, we're gonna name our company LJN2. Because LJN is a shit, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, I already know what I'm doing. We'll just go ahead and uh, get some hiring action going on. We're going to start with a... Uh, I don't know if I can do it in the online... No, I don't have money. Okay, I guess we'll have to do the magazine ad then. Okay. And we're going to start a new contract because we really don't have the money to uh, do anything else. So... Anyways, uh, the contracts allow you to make a little cash and get some research data in order to, uh, you know, continue developing games and whatnot, so, and there's no cost to sign a contract, you get paid if you complete the contract, you know, simple as that, so, that's what we're going to do, um, now this game kind of looks a little crappy graphically because it was originally a Japanese, uh, you know, mobile phone game, not like smartphone, but just like regular flip phones, you know. Uh, it never came to the States on flip phones from what I understand, but they ported it to iPhone and then Android eventually, and so that's where we're at here. So anyways, we're going to hire some new employees. Got a few options to choose from here. Um, I'm going to try to pick my employees based on their little power ratings, so, because, uh, that allows them to work longer and all that good stuff, so, yeah. Okay, we're going to have to fire somebody, so we're going to fire our existing coder, or we can fire our writer. We only need one rider, right? So I don't know. Guess we'll do it. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> okay. I guess we'll hire Espresso too. Okay. So, um. Just unlock the racing genre, which means when we get to actual game development, we can make a racing game. Um, you start with a few genres, and as you progress, you know, level up your characters and all that good stuff, you can, uh, you know, get more genres of games to make, you know, different styles of games and all that good stuff. So, that's pretty cool. So, yeah, uh, occasionally get little messages like this. Um, you know, LJN joining the, the game market, yeah, LJN 2. I wonder if it's going to be as bad as the original one. <laughs> so, uh, but I'm going to play it for real, though, even though technically we should live up to their name, but, uh, maybe we're doing more of a, we're trying to do something else, you know, kind of deal. So, we're going to continue doing these uh, projects for now. And we can use this, uh, this is our research data right here. This is what we can use to level up our characters. We can also spend cash to level up their stats as well. Um, but we'll probably wait a little while on that. Uh, games, a little bit annoying on the sound effects side. You know, like, when, usually when I play it on my phone, I don't have the sound on, so... Yeah, and you can see why it's not exactly uh, impressive in any stretch of the imagination. So, anyways, um, in case you don't know, this is like a game 
company simulation. You know, you're running your own game developer, making games and whatnot. You can even make your own consoles if you level up things properly and all that stuff. So, and um, the game has a lot of funny little names for real-world companies. You'll, you'll see in a little while, of course. So. Yeah, that was completely unnecessary, but thanks, anyways, for the effort. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Guess we'll develop another contract. Bit of a stretch, but I think we could do this one. Trying to build up a little cash so that we can... I mean, we technically have enough money to make a game, but, uh, yeah. So anyways, uh, life really has sucked for me this week. Um, I know you guys probably don't want to hear about my problems, but, uh, this last weekend, uh, my car got hit, um, while I was trying to, uh, pull out of, uh, my parking spot at McDonald's. Uh, just went there to rent a game, or rent a game, rent a movie for Redbox, because I didn't feel like going to, like, a smaller thing, you know. Um, you know, like, to Walmart or whatever else there was a Redboxes, so, yeah. Uh, but anyways, we're gonna start developing our... Well, we're gonna go ahead and level up our characters real quick first before we start developing the game. Yeah, yeah. Tutorials, don't you love them? So, as you can see, each level increases your salary and your abilities for your specific character, so... You just gotta keep an eye on everything like that. Okay. Alright, so now we'll go ahead and start the game. So, whenever you're doing your game development, before you can develop for any consoles, you have to develop uh, one PC game, at least, so... I uh, guess we'll go ahead and get that out of the way. I don't want to make a generic game. Let's make a racing game. And, of course, you can choose all these different things. Like a golf racing game. I don't think that'd be too fun. <laughs> Animal racing. Here we go. Zoo race. <laughs> Why not? Uh, quality, I guess. I mean, it's not going to be that quality. But, uh, whatever. Cuteness. So anyways, those points that you just saw, like whenever you level up your genres and everything like that, you get more points to spend on that, which can help towards the uh, game quality. Alright, so we get to choose between our writers. Uh, we're going to go with Amy Les because she's got a higher rating. So, yeah, Amy Les. These little screens determine your initial scores for the game. The higher, the better. Naturally, so. And then, as your team goes on, they will boost the stats up appropriately. And, uh, yeah. So, anyways, uh, tutorials. Yeah, you just noticed a little thing right here that popped up. Uh, it's a bug. And so, you gotta debug the game at the end of the development cycle. Or you can release it with some bugs. It'll affect the ratings of the game, though. So, yeah. But if you're trying to kind of impress for luck, or luck, time, you know, you just want to release the games as soon as possible. Because you're broke or something and you need money right away. Then that's why you would, uh, you know, let the bugs stay, I guess. But otherwise, if you debug it, you gain a research point for every bug you remove. So. Alright, so graphics, I don't think we have any uh, graphics people. No, we don't. So, we'll go ahead and just hire somebody. And 
And he didn't give us very good graphics, but it's LJN game, what do you expect? <laughs> right? So, 